Thank you very much. Welcome. Good evening. My name is Kathy Comstock, and I am the interim regional assistant superintendent for the Arcadia region in our Tucson Unified School District. I'd like to welcome you tonight to our 28th annual winter commencement ceremony. It's a wonderful honor to recognize our seniors, our school leadership, our district leadership, and governing board members, and Dr. Trujillo, and all of our families and friends who have joined us to celebrate this special occasion. I want to congratulate our 2021 graduates for earning your high school diploma in extraordinary circumstances. The class of 2021 seniors before us exemplify dedication and perseverance. Finishing high school during a global pandemic, you all have overcome obstacles and challenges that your parents and grandparents could never have imagined. You have persevered because you envisioned a future that is full of possibilities. We know that it has been rough, but you will have an amazing story to tell your children and your grandchildren about your very unique high school experience. At this time, please stand for the playing of our national anthem and remain standing for this evening's student speaker, Narain Al Maliki, who will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand. And now the national anthem. <laughs>
to all of you. Buenas uh, noches. Somos amigos familiares de los graduados. I want to thank all of you for being here because I know just how important this occasion is. I want to acknowledge uh, all of our honored guests that are with us here this evening. This is one of the most important events because it marks a milestone in the lives of so many of the young people, all the young people that are gathered here today. I want to thank our governing board members for being introduced, but I also want to take the time to introduce the members of the district leadership team who are also here to uh, celebrate our young person's achievements here this evening. So I want to start with our regional assistant superintendents. Let's start with our regional assistant superintendent for, the, for region number one, Mr. Brian Lambert. Our regional assistant superintendent for region number two, Mr. Mark Alvarez. <laughs> assistant superintendent for region number three, Mr. Richard Sanchez. <laughs> regional assistant superintendent for, for region number four, our interim is Ms. Kathy Comstock. <laughs> and for the schools on the east side are right here in Santa Rita. Our regional assistant superintendent for region number five is Ms. Alvarez. <laughs> we have our director for human resources here is uh, Mrs. Renee Oyser. <laughs> our director for employee relations, Ms. Marisa Lanza. <laughs> and we have our director for communications, we have Ms. Leslie Bernard. <laughs> and we have our Chief uh, Technology Officer and Chief Operations Officer, uh, Mr. Wayne Young. And a special round of applause for the Santa Rita Leadership Team for their absolutely beautiful operation. And the place looks spectacular. A shout out to the Santa Rita Maintenance and Facilities Team for hosting us here at this absolutely beautiful facilities. You know, one of the hallmark programs that we had in the district prior to the pandemic was our Steps to Success program. And those of you that are joining me here this evening, a lot of our principals, teachers, remember how empowering that that program was, where we would all get together on a Saturday morning and go out into the community and knock on the doors of young people that found themselves disconnected from school at some point and had made the decision to stop coming to school. And we would go out and we would knock on the doors and we would meet with these young people, try to convince them to come back to school, give school another shot, and talk to us about what went wrong the first time. So we could provide them that support, those additional resources, alternative programs, alternative schedules needed for those for, for their, their eventual success. We have one of those young persons here this evening who made it from that initial knock on the door and that decision to re-enroll in our school district and now here to graduate this evening with this class. So special success for graduate, Mr. George Cade Molina. He's graduating tonight representing Pueblo High School. He re-enrolled, he made the decision to re-enroll at Pueblo uh, in, in September of 2019 because of the actions of one of our caring educators knocking on that door and engaging him and getting him to make that life-changing decision to give school another opportunity. Well, while re-enrolled, he chose the Catalina Online Learning Experience while attending Pueblo, being able to make up his credits and his classes in an accelerated rate, showed a tremendous amount of hard courage and persistence and I would like to recognize him for his achievement this evening. So Mr. George Molina, can you stand up so we can give you a special round of applause? <laughs> and right George, we have 73 graduates representing 10 of our TUSD Tucson Unified High Schools here this evening. And you have something in common. As we heard Ms. Comstock speak a little bit earlier about all of the challenges you face, an unprecedented pandemic that has stretched across two school years, unprecedented fear and anxiety in our society around the pandemic, around vaccines and masks and transmissions, and a pandemic that has now claimed 800,000 American lives. 
The difficulty of online learning, of being disconnected from your peers, not being able to thoroughly enjoy the on-campus experience, because for most of the pandemic's two years, we've either been in remote learning or we've been in hybrid. Those in and of themselves are challenges that are really, really serious and can discourage any young person, and you've come through all that. But dare I say that the greatest challenge that I think that you've met, and I'm proud that you've met, is the challenge of self doubt Every single one of you has a story, has a very, very empowering story, a very inspiring story, of what it took to get here to graduate in this December ceremony. A story that's probably painful, that saw you hurt, disappointed that you couldn't walk in the summer. A story that probably had you more than once on this road questioning whether you could continue on on your journey to get your high school diploma. A story that probably tested your parents more than a few times in terms of their support for you and their patience and their belief that you were going to see this all the way through. That, to me, is your greatest achievement. Because at the tender age of 17 and 18, to come face to face with self-doubt on this journey of learning and on this road to achievement, to me, that is your greatest achievement. And that's what really makes me most proud of each and every single one of you here in this auditorium. And I, it is not lost on me that a great part of your story are these amazing family members, these parents, these tios, these tias, these aunts and uncles, daughters and tatas, grandmas and grandmothers that stood with you throughout this journey and walked with you every step of the way. So I'd like you to give them a round of applause right now as well. And it's a celebration of your, your persistence, your commitment, and the brightness of your future. We are tremendously proud of you here in the Tucson Unified School District, and I want to congratulate you again on this absolutely amazing achievement. And with that, I have the honor of introducing our student speaker this evening. She is an absolutely amazing leader from right here on the Santa Rita campus. Please give a round of applause for Lorraine Zainab Almaleki. many of you. 
It became painfully difficult for me as I dealt with an unstable home in the middle of trying to keep my school life intact. The solution was crippling. I felt helpless and alone and my mental health quickly became the worst I had ever been. As much as I would love to tell you that I quickly bounced back and found my strength in the virtual environment, I did not. I continued to struggle. The hole in my heart that I felt every day would made the pandemic seemed like only a side serving of inconvenience on the pulpit of the, of the life I was carrying. Things did get worse before they got any better. The ironically enough, what helped me eventually get through my grief and the pandemic was focusing on. My grades before all of this happened were after death. Rest. Over the past two years, I have to come to understand just how important it was for me to make it to today get this diploma and to be standing here before all of you. Graduates, I would like to, I would like all of you to pause right now and, and for a brief moment take some time to think about some of the biggest adversities that you have had to overcome to be here tonight. Although I get to stand up here and tell my story, I know that each of one each of you has their own story to tell. I sincerely hope that this, the line of this chapter in your book ends with that line, I'm proud of myself for making it to today. I know I certainly am, and I know my sister is too because she remains with me everywhere. I go and in all that I do. I'm proud of her too, and I share this diploma and this night with her. Thank you for my friends for standing by my side. Thank you, for the, thank you my teachers, for their patience and helping me throughout my high school career, my counselors, and all the support that have been for me. And thank you to Ms. Cassandra Rodriguez for always being there for me to support me throughout everything. I knew that one day I would stand here and be thankful and that I didn't give up, and I am, and I hope you are too. Congratulations to the, all graduates of the class of 2021. Thank you. Governing Board Member uh, Natalie Bruno Rose, do you have a few words for us this evening? Yes, please. Good evening. Um, thank you. I, nobody really wants to hear from a Governing Board Member, so I'm going to be brief in my words. Um, and Lorraine will push you a full um, words. And I'm sorry for your loss of your sister. And I'm sure she's very proud of you today. So. Thank you for telling us your story. Um, my name is Natalie Rose. I'm on the TOC Governing Board. I'm also a parent and an alumni of Ringer High School. So go Rangers, I saw a few of you in the crowd. Um, go Rangers. Uh, I am just finished my first 12 months on the board along with my colleague, Ms. Shaw. And um, it's been a privilege to serve you as um, a Governing Board member and a privilege as a parent to be on the Governing so uh, thank you to those who reach out to us. Uh, we'd like we'd love to hear from you as now former students and alumni of TUSD. Please reach out to us anytime you have a concern, or not just a concern, but if you like something we're doing, let us know too. Um, my words are brief. Um, I was trying to think on my way here what was the I graduated, I'm going to date myself, I graduated in 1992, so I'm only and um, the number one band the week I graduated was Nirvana and Garth Brooks. And the number one movie, which I'm sure maybe none of the graduates have seen, Lethal Weapon 3 with Mel Gibson and uh, Danny Glover. And so I, I, I thought of those moments of what I was doing the week I graduated. I was excited, it had rained, and so we had to have our graduation inside, um, rather at the stadium. And I was excited for my next step. I was getting ready to go to the University of Arizona. Um, a lot of my friends went to the military, went to FEMA, decided to work, did a gap year, what they call the gap year then. So my advice to you is find what you're passionate about. Find what you want to do in life. Even if you're sitting on your couch six months later and you still don't know, it's okay. 
I still don't know at this stage. And so every day is a, is a new step, a new, new learning process. And um, I hope that you stay here in Tucson and become part of the community um, as you grow up and start having your own families and sending your kids, hopefully, to one of our great schools here in TUSD. So thank you for allowing me this time this evening. Unified School District. It is now the point in our program to welcome our high school principals as they present their school's graduating seniors. So we will begin with um, Catalina High School, and so we'll begin with the first row, please standing and coming to the stage. And I'd like to introduce um, interim principal Ms. Melissa Hall, principal of interim principal Catalina High School. Carlos 
I'd like to now introduce Mr. Frank Armenta, principal at Troya High School. Well, I'm just about to make a moment pause to the guest speaker who spoke tonight. Uh, tonight I have uh, Ms. Terry Hugo, assistant principal, and we thought about it to help me. If I were to, and I just want to congratulate all of the uh, chargers as well as the other graduates. The chargers here are for academic and personal excellence.
Good evening, my name is Eric Rock. I'm a proud principal of Calgary High School. With me tonight, I have my assistant principal, Ken Abbott, in charge of curriculum instruction for the games.
Ricardo Fabiga Mugia. Victoria Lynn Dunn Rojas. <laughs> Abel David Vargas. Good evening, 
our first graduate is Megna Jasmine Eliani Martinez with her beautiful voice. Thank you. Our next graduate is Adriana Marie McMillan with beautiful baby Mariana. Isis, Alina, Santa Cruz, with Baby Mateo. It is now my pleasure to introduce you to Mr. Uh, uh, Eric Gilbert, proud principal or vice principal of Chief High. <laughs> I just want to congratulate all of our badges, and with me today I have Mr. Hitchin, my assistant principal, principal and his employer of counselor. Good evening, we've got seven graduates with us, and the first is Amir Aopa. Yonori Angelina Bacalan Lopez. <laughs> this next one was a student of mine from Extra Press, Andrea Leticia Castro. Isabella Asadana Montano. <laughs> Estefan Perez Ramos. Aaron Romero. Congratulations, Badger, and congratulations, guys. Graduates of the class of 2021, please stand.
21, the students will be exiting out the, the back door and you can leave the 